Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hey, welcome back to Tim Friend. I'm Tim, as always. I'm always going to be your friend as well. Uh, we're finally picking units for the next mission. Uh, this mission's got a really small unit limit on it, which is a little irritating, because uh, we want to use people. But uh, this will let us train up some people who need it, uh, and uh, we can take Kent and uh, Urk off the list, for this mission at least, just because they're going to be promoted. Because uh, now we get to see Kent get promoted, turn into a paladin, and look pretty much like Marcus, I think. I think that's essentially what he looks like. Yeah, kind of looks like Marcus. Still cool, though. I like the paladin model. Or at least the paladin combat model. I think it's a cool one. I guess Sprite? I guess they don't really have a model, because it's not 3D. Is it? Uh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, and uh, honestly, I don't particularly care. So, uh, we got Kent promoted to Paladin, we got Urk promoted to Sage, we just gotta get Raven promoted to Hero, because everyone needs a hero once in a while. Um, but we also want to get Priscilla promoted if we can. What other... Oh, let's get rid of this hammer, Silver Lance, Hand Axe. What other promoted items do we have? We have the Hero Crest and an Orion's Bolt. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the Orion's Bolt because, uh, technically, there's still a chance that everything could go fuckballs wrong and we need to use, uh, Wrath we're gonna run into fairly shortly. Um, so I don't want to get rid of it yet, because Wrath is pretty good. I like using him. Uh, I don't use him that often as much as I used to, but he's pretty fucking good. He's pretty fucking good. So, if we have to use him, I'm not going to be, like, super pissed, is what I'm trying to say, you know? And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'd be, I'll be happy if I get through this, uh, playthrough without losing any more people. I, but, honestly, I'll also be happy if I get through this playthrough, period. Uh, who the fuck do we want to bring? Um, Legault. That's who we're fucking bringing. And we got to get rid of all of his useless shit that he's accumulated, including this guiding ring and this physics staff. That's not for you, buddy. Uh, can we use the barrier? That's not super important. We might want to give Priscilla that other heal staff, because uh, he's running low on the basic shit. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so yeah, we've uh, still bringing Rebecca, because there's a bunch of, I believe, Wyvern Riders and Pegasus Knights in this mission. Uh, so Rebecca will be useful, but we're not gonna fucking promote her, so we're not gonna, like, focus too hard on it. Oswin's always gonna be useful, pretty much. Uh, or he's gonna be useful in this playthrough for a very long time, even though he's gonna hit 20 and we're not gonna promote him. Uh, cause we still gotta get that other Knight's Crest, <coughs> Crest for Sane. But, uh, even though, what I'm trying to say is, even though we're not taking Rebecca or Oswin to late game, uh, we're still gonna use them for now. And that's... That's, that means they're still valid. They're still cool. We can get rid of this fucking door key, though. You don't need a door key, Rebecca. Who are you? Who are you? And, uh, Florina probably doesn't need a heavy lance anymore. We're running out of javelin. Cause I think Florina's only got four uses on her. Kent's only got, like, three on his or some shit. So, yeah. That's a bummer. Uh, but, uh, Fiora has a javelin. We can get that to someone. Uh, Canis has Flux, which we don't need, so we can sell that. Uh, Lucius has Lightning, which we... Do we need that? Do we need that? No, we don't need Lightning. We'll get rid of that. I'm selling all the useless shit now, because, uh, it's useless. Um, we will throw the member card and the physics staff in the convoy. <clears throat> God, excuse me, man. I'm still talking about that fucking sickness that I had, and, uh, it still, still plagues me to this, plagues me to this very day. <clears throat> but also, like I said, doing these recordings is not easy on the vokes, the vocal cords, that's a thing. Ooh, Kent can now use axes. Might want to give Kent an iron axe, just for shits and gigs. Uh, cause it's cool, I, I like having people use axes, cause I don't normally get axe fighters. But I might also just want to get him to, like, S with something before I start throwing axes on him, because we've got Hector, and Hector's really good with axes. <clears throat> but axes are cheaper, and ha hand axes are stronger. So, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, baby. Uh, how many... This <clears throat> this is one of the first maps with, like, regular shops in it for since, like, fucking the boat mission. 
So I'm, I'm making sure that I have enough of things before I go and blow all my money on a million iron swords like I already did. Looks like we are going to need more anima magic because of Priscilla and Urk. Because uh, Priscilla also will use anima magic, which is uh, the magic that Urk uses, I should specify. Um, she will also use it once she promotes, uh, so that's important to have. Uh, I think it looks like we could use with a couple more lances as well. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, one of the things, this fucking Fog of War bullshit mission, one of the things I do like about Fog of War missions is that using the formation sort of technique, or map change position dude, <coughs> whatever, uh, you can move the Galt around and it sort of moves around his whole <coughs> vision thing. So you can get in a good scouting out. Oh god, excuse me, I had to drink some water. You can get in a good scouting out before you even start the mission. At least of uh, shit that might be in range of your dudes right off the bat. <coughs> right off the bat. God damn. <coughs> Alright, so uh, I think we can send Florina south. Um, don't quote me on that, and I might change it depending on what happens on the first turn. But uh, if we send... I'm, I'm afraid of these ballistas, is what I'm trying to say, and uh, it looks like there's no archers down here, which is important, because that means there's not going to be any archers that get to that ballista, but this ballista is wide open, and this ballista is almost entirely shrouded in darkness, so who knows? Who the fuck knows? Oh, you know, we're, we gotta go headlong into the breach anyway. I already saved, but save twice. It's twice as nice. Alright, Merlinus is 14, yay! Only 80 billion more chapters until he's somewhat useful. I don't know. Ninian, stop! Where are you going? I, I'm going to help. Oh no, you're not. You're still too weak. But I merely wish to help Lord Elliwood, even if just a little. Give, give a little, give a little blow, 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 blow job. I stole his father's life from him. I know this. This will never make up for it. Nils, please. I understand. Give me your hands. Nils, I'll give you some of my power via magic. And then they they hold hands, and uh, it's good art. I like that art, but it's a strange plot device. It's just magic power transfer, whatever. Why? Why is that a thing? All right. Uh, she's no mere dances. The dances will help you. She's basically Nils, but uh, we also get these weird little rings of hers that uh, can increase stats on people, and that's cool. I think it's a really cool thing to do, because remember, Nils can make people move again, and that's useful as fuck. But also, being able to increase someone's stats is also useful. So yay! Yay for stats. Alright, so we're gonna have Legault move... We're gonna have Oswin move up first. I should've, should've done that one before. And he'll equip his javelin. Then we'll have Legault... One, two, three, four. We'll have him move up to here, and pop his torch! to increase his already larger sight radius. See what we can see. All right, looks like we've got Pegasus Knights and Monks is the only thing we've got. I think there's a Monk up here. And uh, the Monks are these guys kind of waving their hands around. Like Lucius, remember Lucius? They're like Lucius, but worse. Uh, so we're okay for now. It looks like this guy's gonna come in and stab Oswin. This one is gonna not come in or stab Oswin, but we are open for those <clears throat> these two ballistas, and we want to uh, cover up that ballista up there as soon as we can, just so that we don't have people shooting at our precious Florinas. Um, so we're gonna send Florina up there because uh, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> no one can get to that ballista in time to fire it unless there's a hidden sniper, which would really that would irritate me. <laughs> That would be a real dick move on the designer's front. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We get a light rune. A light rune is a cool idea. Ugh. I think... I don't know if we got one. Excuse me, by the way. Um, I don't know if we've got one before in this playthrough, but uh, the light rune is like it's, like... it's an item that you put on the ground, and then no one can pass through that tile. And that's cool. It's a cool idea. And uh, it's not... I've never found it necessary, but I think maybe... It's that I've never remembered it being necessary. Uh, so it's it's possible that it's been necessary and then I've just fucking forgot to use it. Um, we'll have 
Raven move here. Ah, I forgot. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is try to get Elliewood and Ninian together, and that's important because uh, that will give them their paired ending. So we'll have Hector move up there and get danced at <clears throat> by Ninian. I like Ninian's dance animation. It's really simple, and it's not like <clears throat> overly sexual. Not that there's wrong with something wrong with sexual dances, but. It's usually an excuse for, like, fan service shit to get into Fire Emblem, and, like, I'm not a huge fan of fan service. Like, it's, it's not, you know, I'm not gonna say that, you know, not looking at boobs is bad, because I can't deny it, I like them, but I don't think it belongs everywhere, and I don't think it, I don't think there's even a fucking idea that it should belong as much as it exists in video games and even just within the Fire Emblem series. Uh, that was a trip down serious lane that I probably didn't need to take, but whatever. Uh, is there even a monk up here? Where is he? Looks like he's gone. Well, maybe they just translated that into more Pegasus Knights, <clears throat> which, you know, can't blame him for that. But, uh, we'll continue moving uh, east. That's the correct direction, the actual direction that I needed to be thinking about. Uh, by having Florina kill this monk, and then uh, <clears throat> we'll have people move forward and kill those Pegasus Knights. I think uh, if we can get Elliewood to kill one, that would be cool. Yeah, Elliewood can get in there. Can he do it? He totally can. Boom! Oh, no, all right. Well, next, next hit. Next hit, buddy. You got this. Come on. Yay! Yay for Elliewood. He just barely did it. That's Elliewood's catchphrase. Um, then we can have Hector... Maybe... What, what can Legault do in this situation? Legault can do quite a bit in this situation, it turns out. Uh, can Lynn get in on this action? Because <clears throat> we want Rebecca to shoot this ballista at this Wyvern Knight and uh, take out a large chunk of his health, because the Wyvern Knights are scarier than Pegasus Knights. It's just no two ways about that. They've got higher defense, higher strength. It's a bad time. So, But we're gonna still, uh... I'm scared. I don't want it to be... I, I, I'm really scared of you of losing Legault. Like, I've lost one thief, I don't want to lose both. Oh, but he's already poisoned now. Eh... But he gets the kill on that Pegasus Knight, which uh, I was a little worried about, because 77%, as we've learned in this playthrough, is not something to rely on. Oh, well, gets a pretty good level. I mean, strength and speed is something I will never shy away from, and oh fuck, it's a Wyvern Rider. Oh god, why? I can rescue him. I can rescue Legault, but is it necessary? That guy has 13 strength, uh, plus probably one for the weapon triangle advantage. Uh... So that's like 14, did I say if there was 13 before? I think I did, yes, 13, so it's like 14, and then uh, he will take uh, 6 damage. So that's not too bad. Thank God for Poison Lances, because, <laughs> uh, wow, that was really scary for a second there. Uh, regardless, I'll have Priscilla... Ooh, not quite get there. Ah, oh, that's what I'll do. I'll have Priscilla move up and Physic heal Oswin, because of jokes. And then I'll have Ninian dance for Priscilla, and have... Priscilla Physic Heal, the Galt. I'm a genius, yes, I know. It's uh, one of my special talents, is being a genius. Um, we are gonna wanna move towards this village down here pretty quickly, because it looks like we've got brigands coming around these walls here. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's an Elysian Whip, which is the promotion item for uh, Pegasus Knights and Wyvern Riders. And uh, we are going to want one of those because uh, Florina's getting pretty close to max level. <clears throat> and once we get it, then we can just get her to max level. Uh, let's see, I think Priscilla's safe if I move her within physical range of Legault. Yeah, she's safe. And we'll just heal him, just to, you know, give ourselves a little feel-good experience. And also to really, really ensure that that Wyvern Rider doesn't end his life via bullshit. Uh, this Wyvern Rider comes in and attacks Elliewood, but Elliewood will, with his uh, very erotic hit chance, will get the kill on him. Uh, I mean, we don't really have to level Elliewood right now. He's just a good front line now that we don't necessarily want to cap out Oswin. And uh, Hector 
Hector gets quite enough experience, thank you very much. And we, we can promote Elliewood a little sooner than we can promote the other two. Though I'll probably want to promote Lynn, just so she gets more strength, just by default. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that shit. Uh, maybe after this turn ends, I'll, 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 I'll sign off from this episode. <laughs> uh, uh, Oswin caps out with a point in speed. I think that's like the second one he's gotten in this entire playthrough. But hey, that's only a problem if you make it a problem. What? That doesn't make sense. Alright, but I'll see you next time on Tim Friend. Tim Friend!